We're looking at a selection of items relating to the story of Marion Woods and Jane Perry. In Edinburgh in 1810, two school teachers were accused by their pupil of being in a lesbian relationship together. However, each text takes a different approach to deciding whether or not that accusation is false, true, or half true. We have the film, a play, a true crime companion, and an exploration. The Children's Hour film was based on this play, The Children's Hour, by Lillian Hellman. While in the play, the accusation is entirely false, is made entirely maliciously, and the women lose the libel lawsuit. In real life, the two women, Marion Woods and Jane Perry, were able to win their libel case by leveraging other prejudices against the young accuser. Jane Cumming was mixed race Indian and the court case leveraged her background and having grown up in India against her as being the source of her accusations and her knowledge of such relationships. This along with the fact that the court found it very difficult to believe that two fine upstanding Edinburgh ladies would be in a relationship as this together or that that was possible in general made it much easier for them to win their libel case. Bad Companions can be considered a proto-crime novel, a forerunner to the true crime novels that we have now. It is a very interesting book, as a lot of true crime we read today tries to be unbiased, uh, whereas this novel very obviously states its stance and often dismisses evidence that we would maybe put more weight on. <laughs> Roughhead agrees with the court. He in fact explicitly says that if the accusations had any truth to them, he wouldn't be interested in the case, he's only interested because they are false and maliciously made. Lillian Federman was fascinated by the question of were these women actually in a relationship? I wanted to see if it was possible to go back and discover the truth with a modern lens, without the prejudices of the era in which the evidence was written. In particular, this one is really interesting as it kind of presents itself as a bit of a puzzle where you have to sift through biased information in order to try and figure out what you think actually happened all those years ago.